as a way to offer support to those affected by the terrible situation in Ukraine. I've left a link in the description where you can make donations to the relief efforts. We hope and pray that peace will come to the entire country soon. If it touches your heart, please consider donating. From miles away, we can still make a difference. God bless you. Hey gamers, welcome to part two of our special chicken NFT series, how to do everything. Here in this episode, we're gonna quickly look at how to use your farmland. If you're new to the channel, a warm welcome to you. On this channel, we're all about play to earn games. Get all your guides, breakdowns, reviews, and walkthroughs of your favorite play to earn games right here with us. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications and let's continue this crypto journey together. I assume that this will be part one of Farmland because I know there's still more to come which is not available yet at the time of making this video. But before we get started though, this is not a what is Farmland video. For the answer to that question, Check out the link in the description which takes you to the official Medium article on Farmland explaining what it is and how it will work. You really need to read this to understand and appreciate the idea behind this game-changing NFT. Also, a Chicken community member already dove into this topic a little bit on his channel. Shout out to Play Gateway. Click the link in the description to go watch his video on chicken and a very good initial explainer on farmland, including how to mint a farmland. If you're lucky, there may still be a few left to mint while you're watching this. But to put it simply, farmland is a way to increase the amount of feed you're able to generate with your egg. And that's putting it very, very simply. Farmland is much more than a piece of land and it's also much more than a feed generator. And honestly, we don't even have the full picture yet because the developers are keeping their secrets very close to their chest. Which is fine considering the speed at which great ideas get copied in the crypto space. So you can go right ahead and pause this video, read the article watch Play Gateway's video and then come back and I'll show you how to farmland. Now that we're all on the same page, let's start playing with our brand new farmland. I was one of the lucky chicken owners who got airdropped a free farmland and here it is, number 681. You see, so if we just ignore 6 and 8, I basically got the first farmland. Isn't that awesome? I haven't touched my farmland at all yet. I wanted to make sure I do this from the very start with my viewers so there's no confusion with some figures here and there and some steps. And to make sure this is a proper walkthrough. First thing you want to do is click on the farm link on the top menu. This takes you to the farm page where all the farming activity is done. You are allowed to have as many farmland as you can afford, but you can only have one farmland active at a time. So, if you have more than one, click whichever one you like. Next, it's time to activate your farmland. Click activate to activate your farmland, confirm the transaction and wait. When that's done, next thing you want to do is deposit your LP tokens. As you can see, I don't have any LP tokens. So let's head over to Trader Joe where we can add liquidity and get a few LP tokens. To deposit to a liquidity pool, you need equal amounts of each token. Assuming you have AVAX like I do, then you'll need to quickly swap some of your AVAX for egg. Just remember to leave some AVAX for gas to pay for transactions. There will be quite a few transactions to pay for. 
but none too expensive. Once you've decided on an amount, click on swap. Confirm swap, then confirm the transaction. Once that's done, you're ready to deposit into the liquidity pool. I'll leave the link to the precise pool you need to deposit to down in the description. Once you click that link, it'll take you straight to this page on Trader Joe. From here, all you need to do is click Max on Egg, and the corresponding amount of AVAX will be filled in. You may need to approve access to your egg for Trader Joe if you haven't already. Now, click Supply, then Confirm Supply, Approve Transaction, then Wait. Once this is done, you're done with Trader Joe, and the JLP tokens will be in your wallet, so you can close the page and head back to the farm. Back on the farm, you may need to refresh to see your LP token balance updated. Next, you'll need to approve access to your JLP tokens for Chicken Farm. To do this, click Max to fill out how much you want to approve. A bit of a tip here, it would be a good idea for you to set not just the max amount you have now, but an amount that you feel you may never go over. This is just to save on approval transaction fees in the future, because according to the developers, whatever amount you approve, they cannot access more than that. To access more, you need to approve a higher amount, so keep this in mind. Next, click Approve. Confirm on MetaMask, then wait. Once it's done, you may need to refresh again to be able to see the Confirm button available. Then you can now click on Confirm. Confirm again in MetaMask, then wait. When that's done, this selected liquidity pair will become active you'll see just how much feed you're expecting daily, along with other info, and most importantly, you'll see how much feed before your farm is full. Starting at one bigness, your farm will be able to store a thousand feed before it stops generating rewards. This means that if you generate up to a thousand feed and you do not claim your rewards into your wallet, then you will continue to have only a thousand feed regardless of how long you have the farm activated. And this leads us to leveling up your farmland. To expand your farmland and allow you to increase the maximum number of feed you can accumulate, you need to burn egg. So I left over one egg from when I swapped my AVAX to egg on Trader Joe, because I planned to do this already, but you can easily follow the same steps again to get some egg if you don't already have some. You can see the cost of the upgrade here on the burn button. For the first upgrade, it costs one egg, and the cost continues to increase linearly as you go higher. That is, one egg to get two bigness. 2 egg to get to 3 bigness, 3 egg to get to 4 big bigness, and so on. Another bit of info you should know is that there's a limit to how fast you can level up within a 24 hour period. You get a maximum of 3 upgrades every 24 hours. Once you have your egg in your wallet, click on burn. Let's roll the dice and see what plot of land I get. Wait, what? You didn't know? The expansion is not just numerical, it's also graphical. At certain intervals, no clear answers from the devs yet, but rumor has it, every three intervals your land gets a graphical upgrade. You can see a few of the plots other farmers have gotten. They're all very different combinations, but the best I've seen so far is the chicken statue. I bet that's rare. So, let's see what I get.
All right, I got a plain one. A nice little hillside. Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. I hear clean farms are the best. Hashtag clean farm then. Now, this is a full walkthrough, so I'll also show you how to do things I wouldn't do, like putting your land up for sale. So, let's do that. So, let's say you're absolutely nuts and you want to sell your farmland. It's basically the same steps as selling your chicken, which I also wouldn't do. On the top menu, click on wallet and then click on farmland. Here you'll see all your farmlands. Click on the one you want to sell, then click sell. Enter the amount you want to sell it for, click on submit, then confirm the transaction. And that's it. Your farmland is on the market. I'm not as crazy as you are though, so I'm gonna just cancel this listing real quick. To cancel listing, click on cancel listing click confirm, then confirm transaction, and there we go. That's better. Sanity is restored. And finally, let's see how to withdraw your LP tokens. Navigate back to your farm, click on withdraw to switch tabs, then click max to withdraw all the LP tokens you have staked, or enter the pre precise amount you want, then click confirm. Confirm in MetaMask, and as soon as the transaction is confirmed, you'll have your LP tokens back in your wallet. And should you choose to, you can head back to Trader Joe and withdraw your liquidity at any time. So there you have it, the current state of the farmland. But before we close out, I'm just gonna say, as you can see, there is clearly a lot that is yet to come here. The AVAX egg pool is the first pool. There will be more to come. Trader Joe is the first exchange. There will be more. We were all pleasantly surprised by the graphical change in the farms, and I'm sure there will be many more surprises. No rarity information has been revealed for the farmlands yet but we can assume it's coming. I intentionally didn't mention fertility at all because we don't know much about it yet until Rooster comes. Bottom line is, there's still so much more to come, both what we know and what we don't know. And it's an exciting time to be a part of this ecosystem. We've got dedicated and incredibly smart developers, as well as an absolutely bubbling community. I'm delighted to be a part of this, and we're just getting started. So, until next time, earn on gamers, you deserve it.